Hey guys, it's, it's Ethan A Videos, and we're back on uh, Farming Simulator 19. We're on Lone Oak, and I am just getting some food here because I've been on the road. Uh, so I just got some food here. Um, so I managed to delete our farming on No Man's uh, Save game. So yeah. So I figured we could just change it into uh, Lone Oak map now because. Uh, yeah. So, give me one second. <clears throat> okay. So, I decided to change a little bit of story instead of us starting from scratch. So, this farm, my grandfather, uh, yeah, uh, I inherited from my grandfather. So, he was a corn farmer and a hay guy so basically had he grew corn and he also did hay so we're going we're coming to the farm and oh by the way almost forgot to tell you this I, I believe this is a new truck on uh, in modhub.us I just now seen it so I think it's a new truck this is our Ford uh, F-350 Super Duty and it is a I believe this means the 6.7 uh, liter power stroke V20 whatever so I thought we should get this thing it's like, yeah and you know we got duels on it uh, we got the nice like, dual covers on the side the 4x4 a nice sweet little logo there. Kind of why it's a nice sweet little logo there. So, oh, wrong button. She's she's getting a little dirty. She gets some dirty tires. Um, the steering is a little bit, yeah, but um, I like it. Like, see, I can steer okay right now, but if I let off the throttle, it takes a w little bit longer to steer. It doesn't like to steer as much. But if I'm throttling, if I have my finger on the throttle, it seems to steer a lot faster. But still, it does not steer very fast. That's the only issue with this pickup. So this is our... This is one of our cornfields. And it is a little wet because we got some rain while it's coming up here. So, it's a little wet. This is one of our coin fields. It's the 10th day of late summer, and the corn was put in early, apparently. Okay, so we're back down to 10% rain, so that sun has dried it out. The dirt is still a little bit wet, though. But other than that, yeah, that's good. So... We have got a demo. Like, I, I'll show you why we got a demo. Let me fly the drone over the farm and show you why we got a demo. Okay. Let me just. Okay, so you see all this? This is corn. This is corn. This over here is corn. And this over here is corn. And the reason I got a demo is because the only thing we have is this broken down tractor of my grandfather's on this farm. So that is why I have a demo. And I talked to the guy. I also put in like 350. 356,000 no yeah five hundred dollars for that okay let me turn the drone off for the demo and so that's coming with the header we're getting a case international which is gonna look really weird cut well we do have like a couple case international tractors but it's mainly John Deere here so it's probably gonna look kind of weird 
but yeah, we got a demo. And in case you don't know why we pay so much for a demo, it's basically because instead of leasing a vehicle, they do like say we pay like a hundred or a thousand dollars an hour of use with a lease and the demo basically like I pay five hundred thousand dollars and then they let me use it for so long and if I turn it in early before my contract so to speak my dated turn then I get a little bit of that money back um, if I keep it for my full turn then I will have to return it at the certain date that they say and I don't get any of my money back so that's basically what a demo is at least that's how the, uh, all the demos I've ever known of that's how it works maybe they work a little bit different I don't know but that's how the demos work for me so I know some the, like dealerships will let you take a car or whatever or a machine let you test it out a little bit but you gotta do certain stuff like uh, you gotta keep it nice and all this junk so yeah so we got a guy down here tethering this but it grew over oh yeah he's slipping because it's a little wet out here in the hay field and this guy uh, he's still working okay so it rained so it grew back up really fast so we're going to be getting a little bit of extra hay to th this time um, so how I uh, set my course my hired hands that hit the delete button but OPS also the delete button to stop the video so we can have the three Unfortunately, I changed the E to go to the S side on the way back to the Yeah, you got right off the fence. Somehow you went through the fence. There we go. Park this little guy over here because someone is not so accurate in front of the second scene and I can do it. Maybe we've got to do this part yet. Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna leave this guy down here. Okay, so we're gonna need that demo real fast today. Or tomorrow, because it must be refueled. Okay. Well, I guess he ran out of diesel. Um, I'm going to have to think, like, I don't know, get like some kind of diesel tote so I can take it down there. Um, let me see. <sighs> I think I'm going to have one delivered out here. I just need to go through and take a look. Let me just do that. Okay, so, okay, so for eight thousand five hundred dollars, we can buy a tow, and then the delivery fee is like two point five percent extra or whatever. So, I'm gonna go. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put in an order. Let me go put in an order. Okay, I'm going in my house so I can get on the computer above and put in an order. So, yeah. Let me just do that real quick. Okay. So, let me just sit down in my chair. Okay. So, we got that delivery in. And I actually got 2700 and I believe $40 off of it because there was a used one in the store. So, we got a little bit of money off because we got a used one, not a brand new one. Okay. So, here it is. It's been delivered. Uh it's a little dirty it's got a little bit of paint kind of chucked off of it but other than that this little fuel tanker looks fine to me let me go hook it up with my pickup 
We probably should feed our dog. Sing down on a little bit on even. What, what what do you think we should name him? Put that down in the comments. Uh, so should I trade my truck in for something else? What do you guys think? That's any cost too. Uh, so should we sell our grandpa's truck here? Okay. There we go. So we'll just back on up here once we get in front of this. Good. I think I'm quite cool. too close. Yeah, that's about right. There we go. I'm gonna go fill this thing up full of diesel. And then we'll take it on down there to the mower and sorry for whacking the mic. And we'll fill up the mower. Wow, that's going up kind of slow. Okay, so what should we do? I don't know. Oh, by the way, I put this guy up for sale when I went in to get that demo. Um. So, yeah. I should go in and uh, see if they got like a demo mower that's a little bit of a bigger mower. I like to, but I don't know if we should. <clears throat> that case international wiped us pretty good. Um, so I don't know if we could afford a demo mower. I'll be right back and I'm going to see if we could afford a demo mower. I'm just going to do it from our computer in the house instead of running up there and see if we could have. Okay, so we did get a demo. We did get a demo. It cost us 1500 and they said it should be expected around sometime tomorrow or we can go up sometime tomorrow. So they had to get it from the warehouse uh, from the case dealer. Um, so, they said it should be in, uh, around 9 in the morning at the dealership, so we could run up there and get it, or they will come up there, come here, they should be able to get here, and have it delivered around, I think they said 5 in the afternoon, so, yeah, we might run up there real quick at 9 in the morning and get it they open around 5 oh man have some weight in the back with this uh, 991 gallons of diesel kind of sliding a little bit okay so that demo was surprisingly not too bad. We'll see how it is when we get done with it. We might uh, keep the demo for a little bit longer. The worst that happened, is, well, it wasn't too much. It's just like one thousand five hundred dollars for uh, brush hog. So it's like it's not too bad. So, not like that case international, I want to get my money back or what I can get after this harvest. Because that was really expensive. Oh, no. We're spinning. Take 
this over here. Get a bit used to it. Your tank. We're just going to leave you over here. And I'll come by and get you with the tractor sometime. A bigger tractor. A little tool so we don't slip. Okay. Yeah, I love that on the strength mod. It comes in so many times. It's so useful. I ain't kidding. So by tomorrow, the demo should be here, and we should be able to start doing our corn. I'm just going to park my truck here, and I'm going to do some stuff and junk like that. We'll kind of close up the shops for right now. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think we should just leave this guy right here for right now. So, yeah. I'm just going to do some chunk and won't bore you with it. Okay, uh, I was doing some chunk around here. Man has night came quickly. Um, let me just close up a little bit in here. Doing some paperwork and taxes, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm going to head in the house and then I'll go to bed and see you guys in the morning. So. Okay, good morning guys, it's 9.13 in the morning, um, it's time to get to work, yeah, they, I think they told me something like it'd be, the demo would be in at the shop at 9 something, so, our hired hand is in traffic, really, how'd that happen, okay, let's go out here and figure that out, also let's feed our dog, let's close our doors, so stuff don't go in there like a dog, whoa, Dude, do you see what I see? Dude, they say that wasn't supposed to come until like 5 in the afternoon. It's, it was supposed to get at a shop until at like 9. I don't remember exactly what I said. I think it was like 9 o'clock in the morning. And was, they would be able to deliver it at like 5 in the afternoon. But dude, the 9240 is here. Are... Wait a second. That's not the header I ordered. What the heck? I ordered a corn header. How the heck? <laughs> got it. Well, we'll just. I don't know. I guess we could hook the old, uh, there you go, buddy. I guess we could hook the old, uh, John Deere header up to the, that, but that, eh, yeah. yeah. Why did you send me that for corn? Good lord. Okay, maybe we should stop doing business with, uh, that, uh, case dealer out there. Hmm. 
much money did I spend in this? And they send me the wrong header. Okay. So how are you stuck in traffic when you're out in a hayfield by yourself? The only thing next to you is trees, bushes, and more fields. So where is this traffic? This? Come on. Yep, this was the traffic. Apparently. I am going to go back to the pickup, go up there and report that they have sent me the wrong header. We hit a fence pole. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go report him. Report it. Okay, so we reported that they sent us the wrong header. So we're just going to have to check the weather. Okay. So yes, it is time to harvest. But we have some time before we have any issues. Well, it's a little bit before harvest for that. Let's check our weather. If it starts raining, we're going we're gonna to have some issues. Okay, so by tomorrow... Uh, we should, if they can get the header, the correct header, they said by tomorrow, they should be, there'll be a truck out here to pick up that header, and should be bringing us the header we need to. So, I'm just going to have to check this corn, see if it can wait, okay, 10. Okay, so I'm just going to, uh, check our corn and all that junk. Let me go on over this field. Okay, this one's good. Okay, so it's getting real dark. Um, and I checked all the corn, and I also uh, was checking on the seeds and stuff and all that junk because we have some stuff in here. So, want to make sure we have some twine for filling it up for tomorrow, because we might be able to get to do, uh, whatchamacallit, bailing tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to be heading in the house real quick, go to bed, and I will see you guys in the morning. Hopefully they get us the right header out tomorrow. They said they should get us around, uh, 9 to 10 in the morning so hopefully they get us the right one and hopefully they get us it in time okay so I'm gonna be ahead in the sack night guys uh, hmm. it is what time 827 in the morning so we got up like a little less than an hour before they're supposed to deliver probably should park that case into the shed or something let's feed a dog and I have no status yet over the radio of our hired hand that's been working out there. So, let me feed the dog real quick. Okay, there you go, buddy. You gonna come get your food? 
I think he's glitching around the house. Hey, buddy, come here. Yeah, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, you fit already, huh? I see. Okay, let's pet him. We haven't gave him much love yet. Okay. So we gave our dog some love. Now, what should we do? Oh. Oh, yeah. Guess what? Our corner is here. Yeah. All right. Well, about time it gets here. I think they should chip some money off me that they uh, decided to kind of screw our order up a little bit and take us a day extra and we gotta get a corn off before it rains. Because like the, tomorrow it's supposed to rain like crazy, supposedly, so. Let me get this hooked up. Okay, let me connect the junk here. There we go. There we go. Alright. I just wasn't close enough. That's all. Okay. So I'm thinking we may start on this field. Okay, let's get this unfolded. Oh, he hit the corn a little bit. Okay. Let's turn it on. Why ain't she picking? Okay, so it's the sixth day of mid autumn. Okay, so today, yesterday, and today has not rained yet. So about after 12 it should be sunny but it'll be cloudy um, we just warmed up the tractor I don't know why we did that because it's probably still wet we just got two days of nice 32 uh, it's almost like real life you can't harvest it until it's under 20% wet See you tomorrow. Or the next. Okay, guys, we're back. It was yesterday. I tested it and it was 20. I just got done making myself a lot of coffee. Yeah, that was good coffee. Okay, um, so I figured today would probably be a good day to check it again because it, yesterday it got down to 20 percent uh, wet. So let me see. Okay, so it's 10. We need to get hot harvesting before it gets rain. For one day, we're screwed. So, let me drop the head down. Why aren't you dropping? There we go. Let's get harvesting. Okay, and this is the part we've been waiting for. Seems like we actually got a pretty good yield, too. This is probably everyone's been waiting for for so long. Well, it's been longer for me than you guys, but, um, this is what we've been waiting for. The harvest. The harvest in the middle. Okay. Awesome. Don't know why I can't raise my combine header though. Oh, I have to switch to the header. I was on the uh, harvester. Okay, so we're probably going to clear up this one field and that's going to end the video. But don't worry, that won't be just all. Because if you guys join me after downloading all the mods that I have in this game, you guys can join me not, to, not tomorrow, but the next day. You guys can join me. Join my Discord server so you know when the server is up and you guys can join me on this game, on this mode, and you guys can help me farm 
over and help with the harvest and be in, in the next video when we're missing some more. So after this, we're going to uh, probably end, wrap this video up. And not tomorrow, but the next day, it'll be up. And if you guys have got those mods downloaded, and if you guys uh, join my Discord server, then you'll know when I'm on, and you guys can join, and you'll know the name and the password, and all that good stuff. So, yeah. So we got almost this entire field done. It's just a couple more passes and we're completely done. So let me get these done and then we'll wrap that video, wrap this part of the video, and I will show you the mods that I have in the game. Let me back up and get these little pieces of corn I missed. There we go. Okay. Add some extra grain bins in the back so we could store this corn somewhere because the bins are, it's full. I don't know what to do with it, so I added some bins in the back. So we're averaging around 173 to 170 
178 bushels an acre there. We actually got pretty good yield, which really surprises me. But I'm really glad we got pretty good yield because our bank account is kind of getting low. Uh, I got a... Uh, I seen a pretty nice semi and grain trailer that was used and uh, on the farmer market S that was used. It was in okay condition, but it was kind of dirty and beat up. It's got some hours on it. So I picked it up and I got, I think, 25 or $30,000 saved off of the semi. And I think I got like $23,000 saved off the trailer if I was to go buy it brand new. So that kind of helped us out because we probably couldn't have afforded it. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it, we could not afford it. We got really close to uh, going broke. We only have $104,217 in our bank account right now. I keep missing a little bit of it. Trees are beginning to turn colors. So guys, remember, not tomorrow, but the next day, I will be uh, making it so you and your friends or whoever can come join me and farm, and also uh, harvest with me in this harvest year on the game. Oh, and by the way, uh, I forgot to tell you, we got a buyer for that little combine. He wants to pick it up, like, uh, tomorrow or whatever, something weird like that. So, you'll be picking that up. Okay, I don't think we'll be able to fit in here, will we? I actually know we might. Yep, we can turned a little too early okay uh, let me pull on over in here this guy's been running for around an hour I 
That's definitely a nice toy to fool around with. <laughs> Got to get that hay tethered. That way we can bail it. Open that little pipe up. We're running at 1,891 RPMs. Maxing the poor little tractor out. <laughs> yeah, well, this wagon might be a little bit too much overkill for this uh, little John Deere. I think we're a little bit off. Oh, well, I guess it's accepting it, so. What did we even lose all that money for? We went from 104000 to and something else to 93000 What did we do? I don't know what we did. We did something that just drastically dropped our money. Let's watch the grain go up and up. As we watch the grain on the screen go up, we can watch our money go up eventually. Okay, so that's going to end the farming part, so now I'm going to show you the mods that are in the game. Warm Cloomer. Anyways, we got that. We got the 16 bale trailer. These are mod hubs. Actually, I think this one might be network mod. Or mod not network. Then this is a mod hub one. This is the 2011 F350 work truck we're running around with. Then we have, don't know why that's in there, the 2020 Ram 3500 single cab. We have added realism for vehicles. Additional field info. Don't know why we have that. We don't use it. Baylor addition. addition, yeah, better contracts, buy used equipment, now this is the in-game mod hub, buyable large stacks of bales, I think this is modhub.us, don't use that one. We have the Case IH Easy Rays and New Harlan PL5015. This is, uh, if I'm correct, it's either Mod Network or Mod.us, Modhub.us. Then we have Cattle Breeds, that's Modhub.us. Good. Control. Whatever. I have a bad day with spelling. Playing 6. That is, uh, modhub.us Dodge Durango SRT 2018 modhub.us Easy de Developer Development Controls modhub.us I believe Equal Trigger Tigger 
870 mod ho no pretty sure this is mod network okay don't know how to pronounce that enhanced vehicle I think it says that one I think is mod network or modhub.us fast forward 6k that's modhub.us follow me I believe this is in the in-game mod hub and also is in modhub.us grass mowing I believe that this is either mod network or modhub.us IHC drill this is modhub.us and the reason it says mod is don't add the modded part because I added that there I switched some stuff around made it hold a lot more okay IHC 33 series this is I believe modhub.us and I believe it's also in the game modhub info display if I'm correct this is modhub.us international 86 series this is also modhub.us John Deere 690 if I'm correct it's the in-game mod hub John Deere 700 planter if I'm correct this is mod network John Deere 7000 series mod network or mod hub .us. John Deere 7710 series edited. This is, I believe, Mod Network. John Deere 8350. Mod Network. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Or it's modhub.us. Then the John Deere HX20 is modhub.us, I'm pretty sure. John Deere Pack is modhub.us, if I'm correct. I'm pretty sure I am. John Deere 466. That is in game mod hub, or it's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in game one. Yeah, yes, it is. I got this one today. Then the Lone Oak Farm 19. You can get this on the in game mod hub modhub.us and probably mod network I uh, maze maze I'm not sure I'm pretty sure that's maze and then us I'm not sure something like that don't know what the PL is for but this one is I don't know where I got this one I thinking mod network or mod.us I think I'm just gonna take this one out because I don't know where I got probably <laughs> Probably some kind of private mod, I don't know. Ma manual attach. This is version 1.1. The new version don't get the 1.0. Um this one is modhub.us. Place, I think it says place anywhere. Version 1.3. This is, I believe. On the in-game mod hub or mod network if you can't find them go and type something in the YouTube how to get this mod and type in the name normally there is I think I think I got like two of them that are from github rack pack this is in-game mod hub and I got real dirt color real dirt fix and real mud these, if I'm if I remember right, these are all modhub.us. Then I have realistic cab view. I believe it's modhub.us or it is mod network. Realistic cedar. Um, I think this was modhub.us. If not, go to YouTube and look up how where to get realistic cedar mod for FS19. I got this on the in-game mod hub at Cedar 400. Store deliveries, I believe. Yes, this was in. 
not in game. This is modhub.us. Unit converter lit lit. Um, I'm pretty sure this was in not in game. I don't know why I keep saying that. Modhub.us. If if you don't see it there, um, go to your YouTube. Type in where to get mod unit converter lit lit. Yeah. For FS19. And then I got the wooden doghouse. I'm pretty sure this was in the in-game mod hub, but if it wasn't, ask me and I'll take a look around for that one. So that's all the mods I have in the game. I had a whole bunch of links for it. I hit save. Didn't save even though it claimed it saved in notepad, so I could just paste them all in the description. That's why I just went through here and it listed off the names. Hopefully you guys will find them. Alright, if you made it through this long of a video, you guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you did. Got any suggestions for uh, any other videos, please put it down in the comments. Bye.